What's up guys, welcome to the new Rockon vlog and yes, you love the recent KTM 390 Duke review vlog and we read your comments and you wanted to know also the top speed and the acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour and because it's a beautiful day we're gonna do exactly that but that's not all. We got in our mailbox the brand new GoPro Hero 12 Black and we've been using GoPro cameras since the GoPro Hero 1 that's about 11 years ago and since then it became a crucial part of our filming equipment. We're gonna stress test it today, we're gonna see how it performs, what's the new features all about. So let's start with the acceleration test. <laughs> Battery in, GoPro ready. There is nothing more aggravating than a dead battery while you are doing your best lap on the racetrack or you went just through a most beautiful scenery that you ever saw and then you realize that your camera didn't record it because the battery was dead. So GoPro worked on that and now it has longer run times in all the modes and sometimes even two times longer in specific modes that you can check here. We just tested this little device here, it's called Max Lens Mod 2.0 and it's actually a lens that gives you a wider range of view and we shot in 4K 60, so high quality with even more action in a single shot. So that's a really cool upgrade and you can mount it as you can see really quickly like that. We just tried a feature called Horizon Lock and it's an amazing feature, why? Because when it's off and on, it's a completely different story. You can travel with the rider and you can see it's lean angle and yeah, it's a, such an amazing point of view and definitely a big thumbs up for that feature. We done a burnout test for this little beast to check the frame rates. So you can shoot 5.3K with 30 frames per second, 4K with 60 frames per second, and for the super slow motion, you can shoot 2.7K with 240 frames per second. If you're more a rider and not really an editor and you don't have the nerves to edit millions of footage when you return back from your ride, GoPro has a solution with their GoPro Quick app. And this app is doing the edits for you. You just simply pull the footage from the camera to your phone, select the shots you want, choose the template and then the app is doing the edit for you. Time for a top speed test. Let's see how fast the new KTM 390 Duke is. Okay, and we got the top speed data. It's around 166 kilometers per hour. Why I say around? Because I weigh 74 kilograms and I'm 172 centimeters tall. We had some headwind. We measured it with the original display, not with the GPS system. And I don't know how KTM measured the top speed, but it's around 166 kilometers per hour with this body here. And let's continue now with the GoPro with its HyperSmooth 6.0 feature. Our jaw was dropped when we watched the official GoPro video, like always, and we saw some bothery smooth shots of different sports. And we saw a motocross guy going over the whoops and the footage was smooth and we thought let's replicate or let's test the same thing. We don't have a motocross bike, but we have the 390 Duke. So I think every KTM bike has a DNA of a motocross bike. So yeah, we tried the Hyper Smooth 6.0 and you can see it when it's off. And you can see it when it's on. Doesn't matter how much the camera shakes, it's always smooth. If you're running and if you're snowboarding, mountain biking, you name it, you can stabilize your footage and have it hyper smooth. Whew. One of the features that sticks out is the 8x7 sensor, which means that you can shoot 9x16 format without the flipping the camera. And you can choose up to four aspect ratios. And yeah, that's a cool feature. So no flipping camera straight to the phone, straight to the social media. So guys, this was our GoPro Hero 12 Black 
review as a motorcycle rider so i hope you get a feeling how you can shoot how you can share the footage with your friends that was it guys see you in the next one until then rock on